Hi there, friend. There is a 20 minute full body deep stretch yoga practice coming your way. So this is perfect to bring a little bit of comfort to your body and your mind. My name is Katie. If you haven't been here before, you're so welcome and thank you for joining me. We're going to get started in a seat on the mat. So make your way into your most comfortable way to sit. And you can always sit up on a cushion or a yoga block here if you need to. So we're working through our full body today. We're going to start at the top and make our way down. So we're starting with a nice deep neck stretch. So you can bring your right ear over your right shoulder. And if you feel comfortable here, you might close your eyes. Tapping into that stretching sensation you feel within the left side of your neck. And just send a few big breaths into it. If you're ready, you can start to lift your head back up and then drop your left ear over your left shoulder, tapping into the right side of your neck now. Use a few deep belly breaths to push the air up into your neck, opening up the muscles a little bit more. And then head comes back up to center. You can gently open your eyes again. Nice simple stretch into the shoulders now. Bring your left arm across your body, then hook your right arm underneath, pointing those right fingers up. Maybe you can slowly lift your elbows up and then look over your left shoulder. Big breath into that left shoulder. Use your breath to open it up a little bit more. And then on an exhale, we'll release. Point your left fingers up towards the sky. Bend your elbow. Now pat yourself on the back. Congratulate yourself for showing up and getting onto your yoga mat. Then maybe you can bring your right hand up to that left elbow and just gently encourage it down, stretching through the top of your arms and your shoulder. Big breath in here and on an exhale, you can release. We'll do it the other way now. Right arm comes across, hook your left arm underneath. Maybe you can lift your shoulders up slightly and then look over your right shoulder. On an exhale, you can release, reach your right hand up for the sky, bend your elbow, pat yourself on the back, really, really congratulate yourself for getting onto your mat. Now your left hand might take that right elbow and it might encourage the hand a little bit lower. Big breath here. And then exhaling will release. So from here, you can sit with your legs out long in front of you. We'll make our way into a half spinal twist. So you're bringing the right foot to the outside of the left leg. Left leg can stay long, or maybe you can bend your left knee so your left foot is over beside your right hip. Either way is fine, no matter where you are, just take a moment and see if you can feel your seat bones pressed into your mat. Then your right hand comes in behind your tailbone as close to it as you can get it. Use your right arm to prop up your spine, reach your left hand for the sky. Take a breath in now to lengthen, and as you exhale, start to rotate towards the right, hooking your elbow to your knee, and maybe slowly starting to look back over your back shoulder. Each inhale lengthens your spine and each exhale 
exhale helps you to twist a little bit deeper. Still opening up those shoulders and your upper back here. On an exhale, you can make your way back to center, slowly undoing the pose. Legs out long again, you might shake them out. Then your left foot comes to the outside of your right knee. Maybe you're bending your right leg, maybe not. Either way, feeling those seat bones pressed into the mat. Left hand in behind the tailbone, propping up the spine. Right arm reaches up. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, rotate towards the left, hooking your elbow, slowly starting to look back behind you. Make your way back to center whenever you're ready, nice and slowly. Legs back in front. And you can stay sitting with your legs out long in front of you. We'll come into a seated forward fold. So it can be helpful to sit up on a cushion or a yoga block for this one. So feel free to do that if you need to. Then we're inhaling to reach the hands up for the sky. As you exhale, hinge at your hips and just drop your hands down wherever they land, either on your legs or either side of your legs. Encourage your nose down towards your knees here. And we're just going to pause. So in this pose, we want to avoid rounding the back in order to fold. If that's happening, take a bend into your knees and that's gonna help you to keep your spine nice and straight. So don't worry how it looks, we're just focusing on how it feels. Making our way down through the body, now you're opening up your lower back, your hips, your hamstrings. Now use your next inhale to slowly bring yourself back up. Now from here, take your left foot into the inside of your right thigh, coming into head to knee pose. So the right leg is staying out long, just like we did before. Inhale to reach the hands up. And then as you exhale, hinge from your hips and just drop your hands down wherever they long land along the right leg. So again, it doesn't matter how it looks, focus on how it feels. And as the name suggests here, you're trying to encourage your head towards your knee. Just a few more deep breaths. Try your best to keep your mind in all of these sensations you're feeling, maybe along the left side of your lower back, or maybe you feel this in your right hamstring. Just keep sending your breath into whatever tightness you feel. Your next inhale can start to bring you back up. Left foot makes its way to the bottom of the mat and then your right foot comes in. Left leg staying long, inhale to reach up. 
exhale to drop the hands wherever they land and then maybe you can sink your head towards your left knee. We'll make our way out of the pose now, gradually coming back up, right foot back down to meet the left and you might just shake off your legs again here. So we'll make our way into downward facing dog now. So swing those feet back behind you, bring your hands towards the front of your mat. Fingers are spread wide apart here. Then when you're ready, start to drag those hips up and back and find your downward dog. So same thing here, if you feel like your back is rounding, take a nice generous bend into your knees and that's gonna help you to keep it straight. Point your tailbone up and release your head towards the mat. Take a Big breath in here, you're stretching out your entire body, getting rid of any stress or tension or worries that you have. So keep pushing away from your hands. Now we'll make our way into pigeon pose. So you're starting to bring your right foot forward, dropping it somewhere behind your left hand and then your right knee will land somewhere behind your right hand. Your back knee can come onto the mat here. Keep your front foot flexed to protect your front knee and then pull your feet towards each other as if there's magnets in your feet. Keep those hips lifted. It's tempting to sit over on one side, but that's not what we want to do here. So hips are square towards the front of your mat. If you need, you can put a cushion or a yoga block in underneath your right hip. So you can stay here or if you want to go a little bit deeper into the pose, you can come down onto your forearms, relaxing your head towards the mat. Finding all those sensations within the lower half of your body now. Those are your anchors to keep your mind with your body, with your breath. One more full breath in here. And when you're ready, you're starting to reverse all the way back to downward dog. So take your time getting there. Once you're there, you might just paddle out your feet or sway your hips from side to side just to release the pose. When you're ready, then you're bringing your left leg forward, dropping your left foot behind your right wrist and then left knee behind left wrist. Remember your front foot stays flexed, your feet pull towards each other. Try not to drop into the left hip here, put the cushion or yoga block in underneath if you need to. And then once you're settled, just relax into whatever version of the pose you prefer. So if you like these deep stretching yoga practices, I have lots more 
just like this on the channel. They're all organized into the same playlist. So I will leave a link to that in the description of this video if you want to check that out. It's personally my favorite way to practice yoga. I like taking it slow and just listening to the body and the mind. So if you're into that, maybe we could be friends. Okay, a few more big breaths here. Now when you're ready, you're making your way all the way back to Downward Facing Dog. So just noticing the effects of pigeon pose on your body. Do what you need to do to release even more tension or stress that might have been dug up in those poses. Then you're starting to glide forward into a high plank, so until your shoulders are above your wrists. Then drop your knees to the mat and come down to lie on the front of your body. Have your feet about hip distance apart, maybe wider. Keep your palms faced down directly beside your chest. And then with an inhale, scoop yourself up into extended cobra. So keep your elbows bent here. You might look straight out in front or if you want to go a bit deeper, you can look diagonally up. Just a few breaths here, so a nice deep stretch for the front of your body. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. One more full breath in. And then exhale, we'll start to bring ourselves back down, coming into crocodile pose, so you're making a pillow with your hands. Rest your cheek or forehead onto your pillow, then bring your big toes to touch each other and let your heels drop out towards the edges of your mat. Just a moment here to let the body process everything that we've done so far. And now we're coming back to make our way into locust pose. So feet about hip distance apart, maybe wider. Reach your arms down alongside your body with your palms facing up. With a breath in, peel your chest up off the mat, sending your hands down towards your feet. You can stay here or if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can lift your feet up off the mat, just letting them hover. Stay here or to go even deeper, you might interlock your fingers and then gently push your hands down towards your feet, getting a nice deep stretch into your shoulders. So just a few seconds here, keep breathing. Each inhale lifts you up slightly. Try to maintain that height through your exhale. Now with control, you can start to undo, bringing everything back down onto the mat. Palms come back down beside the chest and we're gonna to prepare to lift ourselves up and then back into child's pose. So come into whichever version of child's pose you prefer. If you want to take a deep stretch into your lower back, have your knees together. For a deep stretch into the hips, take the knees wide apart. Hands can reach towards the top of the mat or they can come back to rest next to your feet. And then forehead might come onto the mat as well. Seeing how heavy you can make your body here. Seeing how much you can let go. 
Allow your mind to wander throughout all your muscles. And if any of them are tense and clenching, take some time just to undo them now. When you're ready, you can slowly start to pull yourself back up and we'll make our way into a seat on the mat. So whatever way is most comfortable for you to sit, we'll just take a few deep breaths here. So you might close your eyes, lengthen up through your spine if you can and relax your shoulders. Big breath in long breath out and do a few more like that you're breathing in peace relaxation and you're breathing out stress and tension So you can stay here for as long as you can, just letting your body soak up the benefits of the poses that we've just done. I hope you enjoyed this routine. If you did, I would love to hear from you. You can leave a comment or a thumbs up, or if you're ready to be friends, maybe you can subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Lots more practices just like this, which I will leave a link to in the description of this video. So thank you so much. It was great to practice with you today. Until next time, goodbye.